everyone and welcome back. I wanted to do a page count challenge on my channel and I decided to go for a thousand pages which is a bit much um, and I wanted to show you what I was reading so I will be vlogging my progress. Um, the challenge um, was set for Saturday and Sunday this weekend so um, this is Saturday morning quite early and yeah so I will see if I reach a thousand pages this weekend that is um, including shorter middle grade um, books which have a lot less words per page so that definitely brings up the page count very easily as well as maybe some comics. I don't think I'm going to read any comics, but maybe if there's a page count on that, I would add that as well. And um, definitely um, audiobooks if I listen to any. I'm working tonight, so I probably will start a new audiobook. So I will be including that in my total as well. So I'm um, starting off this morning. I am going to start off real easy. And I picked up um, a Jigsaw Jones mystery, The Case of the Hermie, of Hermie the Missing Hamster by James Preller. And um, I got this book for free at the thrift store just a couple of days ago. Um, spoiler, because it hasn't been added to my, like I haven't made my video yet. For my book haul and um, that will come out at the end of the month so I have one more shopping day before the end of the month but uh, so uh, you haven't seen this book yet but I got it free at a thrift store um, so yeah I used to like read these books all of them when I was really little I mean it's, uh, it's for quite young kids that are starting to read but uh, I enjoyed them so much as a kid that when I saw it at the thrift store and I was looking for a free book that was like under two dollars so I was like okay um this one was so I picked it up and I wanted to see if I was gonna enjoy it at all I do like middle grade mysteries so maybe I will be enjoying it a lot and I wanted to see if it would still hold up after all this time um so let me know if if you've ever heard of these books because I used to read I think I've read all, all the books in the series when I was a kid so I will be starting off with that it is very short and I will quickly uh very soon update again when I've read this book so I just finished reading um the case of Hermie the missing hamster and I did quite enjoy this book I'm gonna give it four stars um it was a cute middle grade mystery and I did find that there was a lot of information that would be great um, for teaching kids uh, different things um, if, it, if you were um, going to give it to a kid to, to read. I think there's a lot of educational points um, that is great about this book. So in this book there is uh, the, the, the main character's friend. Uh, his hamster goes missing and they need to try and solve the case of where the hamster is. And uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I'm glad that I picked it up as my free purchase. And I would be interested to continue the series and see if there are any five stars. Because I feel like maybe um, some other books in the series would be five stars. I'm just not that um, interested in hamsters. So um, I'll keep a lookout for that. And so I will um, put below, I guess, at the end of each uh, time that I come on, or maybe the beginning, I will put the, um, the, the number of pages that I've read so far. So I will be continuing uh, Max Licato's uh, Grace. So this is um, the devotional book that I'm reading right now. So I usually read about a chapter at a time. So I will do that and add those pages as well. And then I um, plan to try and finish 
the Babysitter's Club Super Special number three. And this is Babysitter's Winter Vacation. Um, I had started this a while ago now. And I have about half of the book left. And uh, let's see if I could finish that today. Um, yeah, so that is what I'll be reading for the next little bit and I will update you a little bit later. So I read a little bit of Babysitter's Winter Vacation and um, I guess I just wasn't in the mood to read this one right now. So I read a little bit. I will insert the updated page count, but I will be starting a new book and it was a mom pick. So I will be reading a Magic Puppy Spellbound at School. And this one I just picked up um, from a thrift store as well. So you will see it at the end of the month in my book haul. And um, I don't really know anything about this series. I don't really like dogs, but we will see. Um, the uh, series that I had read was the Magic Kittens um, series, and I really enjoyed that one. I gave each book uh, five stars, so I saw this one at a thrift store, super cheap, so I thought I would give it a try as well because I really enjoy how the, the author writes. And uh, yeah, so I will read that and update you in a little bit. My little reading buddy wanted to say hi. So I just finished reading um, pu a Magic Puppy Spellbound at School, and um, I quite enjoyed this book. I'm going to give it five stars. I uh, enjoyed it more than I guess I thought I would. I mean, I hoped that I would like it a lot because I loved the other series by this author, um, but as I don't really like dogs or um, animals that much, or at least animal books, um, I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but it was a great story. Um, this series is about this dog that uh, is magical and he needs to escape from his world and he comes to the human wor world and he, um, I guess he always meets um, girls who need some extra love and in this first volume um, he comes to the human world and he meets this girl who is having a hard time at school. There's like some bullying going on and she doesn't have very many friends. And uh, yeah, so he just stays with her for a bit until she can, um, you know, make other friends and she gets closer to somebody in her class. And it was just a, a cute story and I really did enjoy it. Um, so that is all for the physical books that I'm going to read today. Um, but I'm leaving for work in a little bit, so I won't be able to read any more physical books today, but I will be starting an audiobook. I'm not sure which audiobook I will be starting yet, so I will update you in a little bit, but yeah, so that is, um, my reading update for now. So a quick update before I head off to work. I will be starting the audiobook Penny Allen and the Hidden Treasure. Oh no, I forgot the title. Um, but I will insert a picture so you can look at what I'm reading. And uh, I'll see. I'll probably finish that quite quickly because um, I think it's like only a couple hundred pages. Um, so I will let you know if I read anything else tonight. So I just finished reading Penny Allen and the Mystery of the Hidden Treasure and I quite enjoyed this book. I'm gonna give it four stars. Um, in this book there is um, four, I believe four or five um, siblings uh, who are orphans and they have to fend for themselves. Um, two of them I, I believe are older um, there was a lot of characters in this book, but I did still enjoy it. Um, and the need to work together to uh, take care of a lodge that they inherited um, when their uncle passed away. It's the second book in the series and I didn't read the first one, so um, 
so it was a little bit hazy on some of the information but that's the gist of it and there is a mystery that takes place where there's some rumors of hidden treasure on the land so it was quite interesting I did quite enjoy it and I would be interested in reading the other book there's only two in this series so if I were to ever get my hands on it I would like to try that one as well and um, they are, I believe, older books. I believe they're in like the 50s or 60s. It gives uh, Nancy Drew vibes. So I do like my Nancy Drew. So I quite enjoyed this one. And uh, now I will be actually reading another uh, physical copy book. Uh, my work ended earlier than I thought it would. So I will be reading um, Babysitter's Club the graphic novel and um, this graphic novel is Claudia and the New Girl so I will be reading this graphic novel and including that in my page count as well so um, hopefully that will boost my number a little bit and uh, yeah so I've really been enjoying this series so it should be another five star so I'm looking forward to that and I will update you in the morning, letting you know how much I've read and my total for the page count so far. Good morning. It's Sunday, a day two of the page count challenge. And yesterday I read 519 pages. So I am halfway there. And last night I read a little bit of the Babysitter's Club, um, Babysitter's Club, uh, Claudia and the New Girl, and I read about half. So I will be continuing that this morning, and I hopefully will pick up some shorter middle grade books um, to get to my page count today. Not sure I'm gonna reach it, but we will see. It's always fun to try for a high number and push yourself to try and get to it. So I will update you on what I read today. So an update. I didn't read this, any more of this yet today, um, but I did start and finish um, Cam Jansen. The Millionaire Mystery by D David A. Adler, and I gave this book five stars. I really love the books in this series. They are um, cute middle grade mysteries. In this one, uh, Cam Jansen needs to use her photographic memory to help solve the case of the missing necklace at a party, and I really enjoyed it. And I look forward to other ones in the series. This is another book that I just got that will be in my book haul. So I'm just reading all of my new books before the book haul. So if you watch this video before my book haul, um, you're going to be seeing a lot of the books. Um, so yeah, and I am going to do my devotional now. Um, so I'm going to continue Grace and I'll read about another chapter. So it's like about 10 pages I guess but I will update after and then after that I will be reading the babysitter's club so I will be finishing this one and I will update you with my thoughts after I finish that so I finished reading the babysitter's club a graphic novel and I quite enjoyed it I'm gonna give it five stars I've really been enjoying um this series it's the mm, ninth book in the series and I've given each one five stars so really excited to continue that series in this volume uh, Claudia meets a new friend and she kind of puts everything um, else aside in her life to have her to do her art and to be with her new friend so it's um it's, it was a cool story and I liked that and now I will be picking up another book. I've already started this book. It is Love Inspired Montana Mistletoe. Oops, my bookmark's in the way there. Um, so I've read um, about 
a little bit less than half now and I will see how much of that I get through um, before I, I will probably be changing it up quickly but uh, I will be reading that for a little bit and see how many pages I could read. So I read a little bit of my love inspired book. I think I read like 15 pages and then I fell asleep so I will be changing it up now and I am going to read The Amazing Days of Abby Hayes the Declaration of Independence. And um, I, I used to read this series when I was a kid and I recently went to the thrift store and it was kind of like a, a throwback Tuesday day. And I found a lot of books that I used to read in my childhood. And I just kind of wanted to give them a try and see if I would still recommend them to other kids to read. Um, so yeah. I will try this one and let you know what I think. I think I'm at around 790 pages, so I'm not sure if I'm going to make my goal for this weekend, but um, yeah, we will see. I might because I started an audiobook uh, and it's quite interesting so far, um, so I might add that. If I read more, like if I read like a certain percent then I can like do the the translate not translation but the uh like to check how many pages it is if it's not like a, a rounded number it's it's kind of too hard to try and calculate how many pages it is but if it's something like 50 percent in time wise then I could do that easily so we will see if I will add that tonight and yeah so I'll try and finish this and update you in a little bit with my thoughts on it so a final update for my page count challenge. I started and finished Jughead and Friends um, Digest and I quite enjoyed it. I gave it five stars. It was quite funny and I always enjoy reading Archie comics and I also uh, started an audiobook um, called Submerged by Danny Petrie, or yeah, I think that's her name. And I read about a third of that audiobook, so I included that in my count as well. But unfortunately, I am about 100 off, um, and it's late, and I won't be uh, reaching that goal. But I read about 900 pages. So that is really great and even though I didn't get a thousand pages that was kind of like a, a pipe goal but uh, I found I read quite a lot this weekend and I had a great time so um, let me know if you joined and um, if you met your goal what you read what number you chose and I hope to do more of these challenges in the future because I really do enjoy them and thanks so much for being here and watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!